Can you wave to them? Can you wave? Can you wave? Aww. Hey guys, welcome to Vet Ranch. I'm Dr. Carrie. This little Roddy, her name is Blossom because someone on the Abandoned Pet Project Facebook page said that was the perfect name for her because she's going to blossom. I agree. But I met her this weekend at Dallas Animal Services and she made me kind of sad because all the dogs were getting adopted, you know, puppies and um, dogs with no issues or, you know, very friendly dogs and she was terrified. So anytime you kind of go to open the door, she would stand at the front of the cage and she would want to engage with you. But then when you go to open the door, she would run to the back of the cage and like peek out and look at you. She was just so scared. Um, but with just a few minutes of some hot dogs and some love, she kind of came out of her shell. Um, and she's obviously got this skin issue, so I knew that she would be the perfect vet ranch candidate. Especially because she's probably not going to get adopted at the shelter. Most likely to be euthanized. Um, she's so sweet. Yeah? Can you, can you wave to them? Can you wave? Can you wave? Aww. Um, so, we finally got her here today. She was on stray hold, so I couldn't take her with me. Um, and so now she's here. And um, they did a skin scraping to uh, figure out what is going on with her skin. If you want to come over here and look at it. She's got a ton of hair loss. Oh, very cool. And it's really crusty, smells really bad. Um, and so, their skin scraping was negative, so they didn't see any mange. But we're going to go ahead and just repeat that today to double check. You know, she really could be a dog with flea allergies and maybe just had such a severe flea infestation that this is how she kind of broke out. Yeah, let me check it in, okay? I know. You see her eyes are kind of goopy and then her ears are very crusty and have a lot of kind of swelling in there. So we'll scrape those as well. And she's got some exudate in this ear. But I cannot wait for you to get a bath because you're so stinky. She's already like a million times sweeter here. Just came out of the shelter. She's a completely different dog. Are you a good girl? Okay. But we are going to do a skin scraping now. So it doesn't hurt. It just kind of scratches the surface of the skin a little bit to see if they have any mange. You're super itchy. So that shouldn't take long. Looks like she had pups. Yeah, she looks like she's had puppies before. And she has a dog tail, so she may have been a dog that was used for breeding. And then she just got gross and not as pretty, so they sent her away, or dumped her, or she got out and they just didn't try to look for her. You just never know. All right, I'm gonna go look at this under the microscope. We'll get a plan for antibiotics, baths, and that's it. Give me five. That was so. Give me five. Yeah, girl. Alright, Blossom has been with us for about 10 days now and her hair, I had to creep on after her, is growing back really well. I know, she's still scared. But look at that, it's not crusty anymore. Still some thin spots, but it's looking pretty good. Huh? Are you a good girl? Come on, come on. She's such a good dog. She's really coming out of her shell. 
lost them and gaining weight. We'll weigh her here shortly so we can see how much she's gained as well. Well, it's been over two months and I just want to show you what Blossom skin looks like now. She's got hair, so that's always a plus. You know, look how shiny she is. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Um, she needs to be a Hollywood dog, but she could just be a little in movies and such. So anyway, she has nice, pretty coat now. Um, no fleas. Her eye infection is gone. Um, and so she's spayed. And so now, I mean, we've got to tell her why. The only thing to do is to find her home. That's the only thing, Missy. It's time to call Blossom by. She is actually transporting up to Washington to get a home. And that's going to be hard for me. She's definitely been one that I'm attached to because I pulled her personally from the shelter. Um, felt like we bonded right away and um, we've had her for over two months living here. She is literally just the perfect dog. She's going to be great for a family. Um, but we just want to say thank you guys so much for all your support. Thank you for watching our videos and donating and thank you to Abandoned Pet Project for funding uh, Blossom's case. So without you guys, I mean, we could not do any of this. So we'll see you on the next one. to her heart, <laughs> processed meat.